Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a briefing in your scenarios. Now before we get started here, let's go to my YouTube channel and I want to show you a video that I did in the past. Let's take a look. I'm going to go to videos and then we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in briefing. First video that comes up is create a briefing for your scenarios. So as you can see, about four years ago, I created this video. This video goes over how to create a briefing in your scenarios like I'm going to show you today. But in this particular video, what this shows you is how to create a briefing through script. What you do here is you download a template that I put together. You have different tabs, how to name the tabs and how to set the order and then you have other scripts that are involved in order to call the briefing and then you put the script in your mission folder just like a normal script now what I'm going to show you today is going to be a lot simpler it doesn't require any scripts you could do it in the editor and let's go to the editor and I'll show you this method We're going to place down an unarmed rifleman create a briefing and in order to do that we need to go to F5 systems and then we're going to go down to where it says Intel. So you can click that little arrow. And then in this list, we have Create Diary Record. You might already know how to do this, but there is a trick to this. Creating a diary record, all you have to do is just place the module on the map. Just double click it to open it. And let's go over it real quick. So you could use the variable name if you want. I never used it in the past, so I can't really explain how to use it because it might be used for other things that I never used before. But let's go down to the system specific system create diary record. So the owner is basically who is or what is going to be using this diary record. If you click the arrow here it'll give you a small list. We're going to set this to all playable units. So this allows the playable units such as our unit to see the records or the Briefing. It basically says when empty, re record will be placed in the de de default briefing subject. I never use this, and to be honest, I'm not sure how to use it, so I can't really tell you how to use it. Let's go to present title. So in the t present title is situation. If you click the arrows there, you get mission, execution, signal. If you don't want the situation, you could use title, and this is custom. So as it says here, the tool tip that comes up says custom title will replace the present title which is this so let's put situation and then in the description we will put the enemy has attacked and we must defend the base from them something simple anyways all you have to do with that is just hit ok and the briefing is established your character must have a map in their inventory. Now, pretty much most of the time they do, but for this guy, since he's a survivor, we're going to check his inventory. So he has a map, and that's good. That's all we need. So let's save this little scenario, and we're going to put it under Stratus. And we're going to just say Briefing. And let's play the scenario. Now in order to access and see the briefing you have to go to your map and you're going to see the briefing at the top left. So if you click on briefing we have situation and basically what I wrote. The enemy has attacked and we must defend the base from them. So that's pretty simple. Now there's a trick to this. If you start adding more tabs as they're called which is basically you'll get more of these different name there's a certain order to them and if you don't do it right then they'll be out of order so I'm going to show you that right now so let's go back to the editor let's establish another diary rec we have a situation so let's go to owner make sure he's set to all playable units and we're going to put a custom title and this one is going to be mission so our mission is going to be move to the walls of the base and take up a position to defend. Alright, 
let's add another one. Actually, I want to see if this works. Control C, V, and then we're going to change this to execution. And then we're going to pick up your weapon on the way to your defensive position. We'll hit OK. And then we'll press Control V again. Edit. And this one's going to be supports. We'll put you have access to call in for mortar support. Hit enter. Alright, let's save that. And let's play the scenario. Alright, so going to the map, we go to briefing. Everything is upside down. So the situation is the first thing that we've seen in our first test. Then we added a mission. Then we added the execution of that mission. And then we put in supports. Now, why is this? Why, why is it upside down? To be honest with you, I can't tell you why it's upside down like that. But I know how to fix it so that it's not upside down. So what you need to do is just place down the create diary record as normal. And edit it set to all playable units you're going to start from the bottom up so let's say you had multiple tabs like I just like I just showed you and your last tab is going to be credits like say you built this you built a scenario and you want to give credits to some guy that helped you with a script or and you, you want to give props to another guy that gave you some feedback and you want to give props to another guy that basically tested it for you or something like that what you're going to do is you're going to do the credits first and you're going to work backwards. So let's put credits and then let's put I want to thank so and so for testing. Let's go one line down. Props to so and so for the script, etc. So we'll hit that diary record. The position makes no difference. So let's edit this. Let's make sure this is set to all playable units otherwise you won't see it in game. And this situation is going to be supports. And then for the description you have access to mortar support. And then we're going to create the next one. Make sure it's set to all playable units. And then we're going to put execution. And this one's going to be pick up your weapon on the way to the defensive position. That's fine. Next one's going to be. And this one's going to be the mission. Your mission is to defend the walls of the base. Okay, and then our last one is going to be the situation, which we could leave as it is. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it as it is. And the description is going to be the enemy is attacking our base get repaired. Okay, so now each one of these is going to be a tab. Let's save that and let's go in game. Alright, so if we go to the map, go to briefing, it's still kind of off. As you can see, I don't know why execution is not. So the, either way, the credits is at the bottom, supports is the next one up and then the situation. So I'm going to have to change the situation and the execution. Alright, let's go back to the editor. And this was the execution. So let's eliminate the execution. And let's try that. And here we go. Yeah, I don't know what, what the deal was with that, but... So now you, now you have the correct order situation mission supports and credit so here's your situation your mission supports and of course the credit.
credits. Now, if you wanted to make this interesting, let's go to another mission. I'm going to show you something that I did in the past for a mission that I built, and this is on another map. And in this map, I used the modules, which are over here. And these particular modules, if we go to the top one, which is going to be credits, and I basically did the same thing. The owner is all playable units, and I put credits at the top. As you can see here, I did some HTML in here. If you type in into the box and then you hit enter, it basically closes this dialog or the, the little window here, and then you have to start over. So what I recommend is do your Intel stuff, unless it's you know real simple and it's only you know one one diary record. Do it in a Notepad document with the HTML. Now if you look at this this little code here with the less than sign br forward slash and greater than sign that's a break and a break that creates a space and then from there you could add another line for some other information and then you could put another break etc. So the way I did this is I created the credits first and then I had tactical tips for this mission and then I put using the supports and then I had friendly assets and then we have enemy intel and then the mission and then this was the actual situation which I described so if we went into the scenario Played the scenario. Gotta wait till it loads. Be advised, support units are now on standby. Out. If we go to the briefing, yeah, that's my intro. Pretty cool. If we go to the briefing tab. You can see that everything's from the top to the bottom how it's supposed to be. So as I showed you, the credits were first on the list. So if we had a situation, I basically just created a paragraph here, and then our mission and then Intel, friendly assets, using the supports, tactical tips, yeah, there's a lot, and then of course credits. So you could do something similar, but I suggest if you're going to do something extensive like that, then do it in a document, Notepad++ or WordPad, whatever, and do it, format it in there, and then just copy it into the create diary record spot and that's it uh, I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you find this video useful for more tutorials take a look at this playlist